Hi, greetings of peace in Jesus' almighty name. You are about to hear Ambassador Promise, Christ's Ambassador and Senior Pastor, Jesus Mission Equators. The Lord sent Ambassador Promise to stop anything after man's destruction, to bring healing, liberty, and restoration to all, to raise, build, and plant all as Christ's ambassadors everywhere, and restore all things according to the only pattern. This message you are about to hear will change your life forever. It's your time to be healed, liberated, enriched, and restored in every area of life. Welcome to the heavenly life. Now, Ambassador Promise. Hallelujah. Proverbs 13 and verse 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the righteous. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the righteous. Who is a sinner? One who has no regard for God's righteous ways. One who ignores the ways of God and does all he likes or wants to do. Who is a sinner? One who rejects God's offer for man's salvation and believes in his power and ability to get himself on in life. A sinner is one who has disbelief in God and who leans to his own understanding. Who is a sinner? One who has rejected Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and one who is not ruled by him or governed by his word. Listen, I don't care what you have. If you are not in Christ, I pity you because you should be pitied. If you look at Ecclesiastes 2 and verse 26, the Bible says, To the one who is good in the eyes of God, God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy. To the sinner, God gives the task to go and gather money and heap up words that God will take from the sinner and give to the righteous. If you are a sinner, you can't spend your money. <laughs> I pity sinners. I want you to know that the will of God is for you to reign over finances here in this world. God wants you to reign over wealth in this world. God wants you to be in command of wealth in this world. The question is, what are you to do for God to give you so much wealth that you will reign here on earth with God's word. Luke chapter number 12, I will read from verse 31. Only aim, only, only aim at and strive for and seek after his kingdom. Look at it, very clear. Only aim, have no other alternative, have no other option. Only aim, focus. Only aim at and strive for and seek after his kingdom. And all these things shall be supplied to you also. All of them. Do not be seized with alarm and struck with fear. Little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom and the wealth of the kingdom and the riches in the kingdom. And the prosperity of the kingdom and the superabundance available in the kingdom. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the glory, the splendor of the kingdom. Everything in it, the power, the glory, the wealth, the riches, and everything in it. How can you get it all? Sell what you possess. Luke 12, 33. Sell what you own now. You possess something now. Convert it to money. This is the demand. 
If you want to reign as a king over finances, if you want to be in command of God's wealth, to rule the earth with his wealth, it is only possible by this. Sell what you possess and give the proceeds to advance the kingdom of God. He said, do not provide yourselves with purses and handbags that do not grow old on an unfailing and inexhaustible treasure in the heavens where no thief comes near and no more destroys. Instead, provide for yourselves purses and handbags that never grows old, that never fades, that never fails by your investment into God's kingdom business. If you do, from there, God will supply all you need. For anywhere your treasure is, that is where your heart will be also. God wants to give you his wealth. You are to be in command of his kingdom wealth. It is not for everyone. That's why he says little flock. The little, the few of you that understand this, I will make them financial and wealth commanders upon the earth. If you can believe me, trust me, and sell maybe your land, maybe your houses, maybe your shares, maybe your, your stock, maybe your cryptocurrency, whatever you have. If you can sell it and give to seek, to only aim at and strive for and seek after his kingdom, all this wealth shall be supplied unto you. That's all. All this wealth, all this wealth shall be given to you. If you look at Luke, Luke chapter number 18. Luke chapter 18, I will read from verse 28. Peter said, see, we have left our own things, home, family, business, and have followed you. Jesus said to him, said to them, I say to you truly, there is no one who has left house or wife or brothers or parents or children or land, possession, for the sake of the kingdom of God, who will not receive a return, manifold returns in this world and in the coming age, eternal life. You can have all of your needs met. God can supply you stupendous wealth, prosperity as cannot be described. What he wants, to, what he wants you to do is to trust him, say what you have, and if it's, oh, I don't have money, God say you have something. Maybe it's your iPad. Maybe it's your iPhone 14 Pro Max. That's the only, only, only word. Maybe it's your laptop. Maybe MacBook or Apple laptop. Anything you have. It could be anything. Landed, property, houses, whatever it is. If you can believe God for the sake of this kingdom and sell this manifest, God says he will give you everything back. I thank God for God because he cannot lie. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13, I will read from verse 44 to verse 46. If you are there, join me and let's read. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure, hid in a field. That's a kingdom, a treasure, wealth, substance, hid in a field, which when a man had found, he hides it and for joy thereof. Go it and sell it all that he had. He saw the treasure he's looking for. He went and sold all that he had and buys that field. Buy the kingdom, all the wealth you are looking for in the kingdom. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. In those days, we, Wealthy men used to look for pearls. If they find one, they will go and sell everything. Just like Dangote, Aliko Dangote, or Mike Otedola, or Jeff Bezos, or Elon Musk, they are looking for something, and they saw that, and they went and sold all they had to buy that. Investment into the kingdom is God's ordained way to be a wealth commander. You are investing all into his business is what makes God give you all he has for you to command. When you can end God's trust by believing what he has said and then investing into what God is doing, God will give you wealth that will make you run on earth. 
The reason why many of God's people are struggling in lack or struggling with little is because of their non-commitment to investments into his kingdom business. You hear this message now. Listen, this message, you may not know the power in it, but can be shared to over 3 billion people worldwide if we pay the bills on Facebook, Instagram, maybe YouTube, advertise it. It can reach 7 billion people if we are able to pay. If we say to Facebook, let it reach every human being on earth for the next one week, it's money to require. Listen, to get across the truth to people is expensive. So give it to the kingdom. It can change any, everything and it brings you much wealth in return. All these things will be supplied to you if you can earn God's trust by putting your seed into his work. My word to you is please stop struggling. I have been told, even 2019, December, the Lord told me, close the account of this great commission and give all to a ministry. I did. I can't tell you how many times I have closed the account, personal account, ministry account, family account, to give God what he has told me to give. You see, he told me what I cannot forget. He said, I am the source. People, lands, nations are the soil, ministries. I am only looking for a sower who will hear me and obey me, and I will channel all of my wealth to that person. If God wants to give 50 trillion to somebody, he needs somebody who can take that money. Now, now you must be a trillionaire to give trillion out. You must be a billionaire to give billion. So when God gives you two billion, you're already a billionaire. You can leave poverty today by your giving. Hear me, hear me well. You can leave poverty alone today by your giving. God wants to give ten trillion dollars to somebody. He needs a hand. Now, for you to have ten trillion, you must be a trillionaire first. So whatever God will do to make you a trillionaire, he will do so, so that you can be his channel of giving trillions out. But now that God cannot trust you with $1,000, with $100,000, can he trust you with anything? No. So many have lived and died in poverty as paupers because of their self and greed. Please open up. Open up your heart. Open up your hands. God is looking for open hands to put his wealth into. Can you qualify? If God says to you right now, as you are hearing me, I want to send to close your account and give this, this my ambassador promise. Pastor Jesus Mission Headquarters, my platform for world dominion now. Give him all you have. Can you hear him obey? You see, when, people, when it comes to giving, many people are deaf. But I pray that your ears will be open because when you are not deaf to hear God give, say give, and you give, God will speak to you of what to do to get all the words you are looking for. And I'm telling you, if God can find you trustworthy, his word will pass through your hands. I see God making you a millionaire for some, some billionaire, some, some trillionaire, some more than that. May you avail yourself of the privilege of becoming God's kingdom word commander. And I tell you, you will be an amazement even to yourself and to the world. God bless you. I'll see you again. Glory to God. I know you have been greatly blessed by this message. It's time to do the word. God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus gave all for this message to reach you today. Join us, spread the message worldwide at all costs and by all means, with your tithes and offerings and faith sacrifices. The account details are here. Give now and the Lord will reward you and supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Peace and God's blessings in Jesus' name. For inquiries, WhatsApp or call plus 234-70-3344-3266. God bless you.